Here is Yakovlev, who's not only a huge blocker, he's a big ace server as well. That's not one of his big ones. Nishida's got nothing to do there. No play at all. This is a shaky start, this. But the Japan start team that always come out fast. So a block point early here for the Russians. Two very, very tentative starts. I think this hand has called a hold to this already. Well, four points against Japan already. Kana started this match much worse. As Yakovlev then will stay on serve. He's always got an ace up his sleeve. Yanagida picks that one up. Nishida gets blocked and it's dropped on the line. It's another one. Podlejnik, I think, celebrating that one. Well. Absolutely horrendous this for Japan. They knew they were going to be up against it with blocking. And I tell you what, another big change already. Fuji's out of there. The setter. Sakita comes back in after that nightmare start. Not all Fuji's fault at all. Oh, that's got to be a nice take, and it is all oh, the inside. Spike that hit. And Nishida can't get a winner. The containing block was there. The reset, retool. Voronkov couldn't find a winner. No, no play available at all there for Yanagida. Nishida, lovely cross court pickup, but it's gone. They're defending really well. Russia. They make Japan win a point not once, not twice, but three times. haven't shaken Japan off after that awful start. Japan are still tucked in here, looking for a couple of points back on serve. Too good, once again. Vronkov rifles that one away off the block. Terrific effort from Nishida. serve in Half attack doesn't work comes back on second touch now japan can reset here nishida wraps one off the block They're still chasing Japan here. If they give up another point on serve, I think it's going to be too much for them to pull back. So they've got to get rid of Yakovlev. Got to be side out here. Backside to Nishida. And that's beautiful. This is what they've got to do. You take on the Russian blockers power for power. Japan are going to lose. They've got to be clever with it. A little bit of finesse. Take everything off. Just a little dink. Take them on like that on the outside and expect to get consistent winners. These Russian blockers, him in particular, are just too good. They see it, they read it, they react. Sherbin in. Japan. Yanagida then. 
looking to serve here. 19 all. It's a beauty, absolute beauty. Grank in the stretch, and then the block comes back. A big block from Taishi on Adira. That's all about the quality of the serve, though. A lot of servers wouldn't have even got a touch on this in the first place. That's brilliant from Grankin. But it was always asking a lot of Yakovlev to get a winner from there. The block could take all day to set up. On Adira, all he had to do was time his jump for an easy stuff block. And Japan keep the pressure on. Now, can they make a breakthrough here deep in this first set? Yanagida looks for Andreas, picked that up beautifully. That's coming off the block and away from Yakovlev. Off the quick set, side out. Still, we can't separate them. Real tempo to this first set. Yakovlev ripping the cover off the ball there. Voronkov. Looking for a ripper as well. Koga's done well. Ishikawa. Oh, my goodness me. That's the cross court of the match so far. Oh. Watch this. Just watch this. The block, gone. The cross court defenders, three of them. Nobody moved. Can't hit it any better than that. On Adira then. Now 21 20. Still, they keep the pressure on. They're the front runners. Russia have to side out to keep pace. The next Japan point on serve could be a set-winning point. Does it come here on the Onodera serve? Oh, it's not the best take. And Voronkov has missed it. That's because he had to take it so low. Now, hang on. Well, that's got to be challenged. I thought he just missed it. And I didn't see a call. But overturned that, but obviously they did change their minds on the floor that that took a touch. If it did take a touch, it's side out. If it didn't, Japan have got this first set where they want it. And he absolutely had to call this one here. Yuichi Nakagaichi. This is a big moment. Anything there? Can't see anything there. Nishida. It's not, but it's not got it. It's not got it. The original call looked good. But then they overturned it. Thank goodness for the challenge system. Now Japan have a lead. And Thomas Suelvo has to say, whoa. Gotta deal with this. Kuglov picks up another one. Known for his handsome, rugged good looks. Pavel Krugloff, bit of a pin-up back in his native Russia. He's not thinking about his rugged good looks here, he's just thinking about the cross-court put-away. Beautifully taken by Mr. Hansen. Now they've got to pull this back. Yakovlev's the man for a crisis. Dangerous server. No, the danger there. Just to the cameramen behind the advertising hoardings. That's the last thing Russia needed there. It takes Japan. Another point closer to securing this first set. Yuji Nishida there. Generally doesn't hold back on his serves. Let's see what he comes up with here. That's another ripper. Gone. Gone. A serve. Set point Japan. Oh, this really was a ripper. Well, that's what Russia needed from Yakovlev on the last serve, and he sent it way too long. And then Nishida. Comes up with that, the teenage terror strikes again. And Japan on the brink of completing a terrific turnaround here. You think how badly this match started for them. They adjusted, they adapted. And now Nishida will look to wrap up this first set. Misses by a whisker. By a whisker. <laughs> But Russia need two points on the Kruglov serve. The first one doesn't challenge. Nishida driving and wraps it up. Beautiful deep curl into the back court. Well, who would have expected this 25 minutes ago? When Japan started so badly, three stuff block points against them. But they steadied the ship. That early timeout taken by Yuichi Nakagaichi and Philippe Blaine. Absolutely the right thing to do. Japan settled, regrouped, adapted, and started playing to their strengths. That's why they secured this opening set.
25-22.